Okay, students, now let's determine the length of uh, the curve made by the parametric uh, fun vector function. So you are now given uh, a circle with uh, a center at 2, uh, minus 1, and radius 3 units. So you are supposed to find the length of the curve. So I'm going now going to show you how you can find that. First, students, know that uh, this is uh, a circle, so we have to determine the parametric equation of the circle. The parametric equation of the circle with center 2 and minus 1 is given by uh, this one. Students, the radius is 3 units because it is radical 9. And the center here is 2. The value that makes it 0 is 2. So the x component is 2. The, the x component of the center is 2. The y component of the center here is minus 1 because the one that makes 0 is minus 1. So here I wrote that here. So uh, the radius is uh, 3, so 3 cos ti plus 3 sin dj can follow. Since this is a full circle, we have to have our t running from 0 to 2, 2 pi because we are considering our uh, angle in terms of rat. So for a full rotation, we need to have our t to have a range from 0 to 2 pi. So this, para this uh, parametric vector can make this curve, this circle, okay? So now your r of t is this. Next, you have to carry out the derivative of r of t because if you remember in the determination of lengths, we need to know the derivative. So the derivative of this is going to be like this, minus 3 sine ti plus 3 cos tj because the derivative of 2 is 0, so this will be minus 3 sine t and minus 1 derivative is 0, 3 cos tj. Now we have to determine the norm of this one. So the norm of this is going to be the square root of the sum of the square of the components. So minus 3 sine t squared plus 3 cos t squared. This is 9 sine t squared and 9 cos t squared. So we can take 9 out and 9 sine squared cos squared is going to come. And the sum of these two makes 1. So the square root of 9 is actually 3. So we are having now these 3. So the length is, as we know, is determined by the integral from a to b. Now our a is 0 and b is 2 pi. So the root 2 pi of the norm of the derivative. So Already the norm is determined, it is uh, 3 here, so you bring that and put it here. So the integral from 0 to 2 pi of 3 dt is going to be 3 times 2 pi. So this is actually 6 pi. Uh, dear students, there is one thing that I would like to raise here, and that is this one, student. Look, this is a circle with radius, what, student? 3 units. So the length of the curve of the the, the the length of the curve is the same as the, le the length of the circle. The length of the circle is the circumference of the circle. So the circumference of the circle is independent of what the center. It is dependent of the radius. So if the radius is 3, as we know, the circumference of a circle is 2 pi r. So if r is 3, 2 pi times 3, it's going to be 6 pi. So what we did here by using, you see, by using the vector approach agrees with the one uh, with the one we discussed before. So this is the idea that you need to underline. And what comes next is question number uh, uh, question number uh, 11, and that's about you see uh, determination of lengths again, but for the vector for the curve that is that has been parameterized by this r of t, as you see. So as usual, we have to undergo the following step. First, we have to determine what the derivative, as we did before. So your r of t, as you see, is sine ti plus t to the power of 3 over 2, j plus cos 2k cos tk, and rt is from 0 to, to uh, 20 over 3, I can say, because 3 times 6 is 18, 18 plus 2 is 20, 20 over 3. So you, if r of t is like this, then your r derivative at t is going to be uh, the derivative of sine t, which actually is cos t, and you bring this 1.5 in front and deduct 1 from the exponent, so 3 over 2 radical t can come, because when you subtract 1 from the, the exponent, 0.5 can come, so that is radical tj, and the derivative of cos t is minus sine tk. So now, uh, once we obtain this, as you know, we have to find the norm of this derivative. So the norm of this derivative is going to be the square root of cos squared t plus the square the square of I mean uh, the square of this 3 over 2 radical t is going to be 9 over 4 t, right? And this square will be in sine t squared. Actually, it was minus sine t squared, but it's identical with sine t squared. So 9 over 4 t comes directly out, and but the cos squared t plus sine squared t makes 1, so you don't have 1 here. So already this is determined, now let's bring the formula we discussed, the length is, is determined by the integral from a to b. Now my a here is 0, 
and my p here is 6 and 2 over 3rd, 2 third, which actually is 3 times 6, 18 plus 2, 20 over 3, so you can have 20 over 3 here. And then you, in place of this norm, directly take this squared expression, as you see. Now we need to use uh, integration by substitution, make u to be 1 plus 940. And when t is uh, 0, u is going to be what? 1. And when t is, uh, when t is I mean, when, yeah, um, t is 20 over 3, your u is going to be 16. So radically u is going to come. So if u is 1 plus 9 over 40, your du will be uh, 4 over 9, your d will be 4 over 9. Uh, dt. So what you are going to have is this. So we know that integral of u is use a power of 3 over 2 uh, time over uh, 3 over 2. So you can take as 2 over 3. So you can multiply 4 over 9 by 2 over uh, 3. So you, you can get 8 over 27. So when we put 16 and 1, 1 after the other, take minus into account and multiply the result with 8 over 27. Uh, you, we do have 56 over 3. So the uh, length is, is going to be uh, 56 over uh, 3, the length is of this particular uh, curve made by this particular uh, vector is going to be 56 over 3. Next we have question number 12 and again here uh, we are asked to find the length of a line segment uh, which is considered as the arc. Uh, parameterized by this vector, you see, r of t 2 plus 3 ti plus minus 1 plus dj plus 3 minus 2 tk, where t is running from 0 to 1. Look, since we're having here, you see, a t range, this is going to be a line segment, students. So we know that the length of a line segment can be determined from this fact. So as usual, we have to find the derivative. The derivative is directly this one, uh, the derivative of 3t is 3, and the derivative of t is 1, and the derivative of minus 2 is uh, minus 2, the rest uh, are 0, so 3i plus j minus 2k can come. So taking the norm of this one, we can have 9 plus 1 plus 4, just take the square of these components, 3 squared is 9, 1 squared is 1, and minus 2 squared is 4. So this is going to be radical 14, uh, because 9 plus 1, 10 plus 4, yeah, right, right we are. Radical 14. So the norm is now obtained, so apply the definition. See the length is integral from 0 to 1 of the norm. So this is going to be the integral from 0 to 1 of the square root of 14 dt. And this is a constant number of students, as you know, so this constant number can be taken out. So this is going to be radical 14 times the integral of dt, and that actually is t. Since evaluation is done from 0 to 1, 1 minus 0 is 1, so 1 times uh, radical 14 is going to be radical 14. So the length of this line segment is radical 14. Dear students, there is also another way to verify this, and look at this important note. Basically, this is a line segment with endpoints, these two. Let me show you how this is obtained. When t is 0, look, student here, when t is 0, uh, the point is, uh, look, when t is 0, you, you do have 2 as was well, student as x component. When, two, when t is 0, you do have minus 1 as y component. And when t is 0 again here, the z component is going to come. So 2 minus 1, 3 can come. Now, when t is 1, considering it as end point, so when t is 1, 2 plus 3 is going to be 5, and here 0, j. And here, when t is 1, you do have 1, you see, k. So, indirectly, we are now calculating the measure of the line segment with endpoints at this. So, as we know, uh, the measure of the line segment with endpoints, uh, these two, is indirectly the same as uh, the distance between these two points, right? The distance between these two points. So, the distance between these two points can easily be obtained by doing this uh, difference squared. 5 minus 2 is 3, square it, 9. Here again, 0 minus minus 1 is 1. And when you take the square of 1, it will be positive 1. And 1 minus 3 is negative 2, and square it, it will be 4. So the distance or the distance between these two points or the measure of the line segment will be the square root of the sum of these three. Basically, the sum of these three uh, makes what students radical 14, as you see. Because uh, 9 plus 1, 10, 10 plus 4, radical 14. Now, if you compare uh, these two students, if you compare the one we knew in elementary mathematics uh, class with uh, the approach of, you know, determination of lengths by using 
parametric form the two can agree each other as can be shown here so what we did is uh, write 